This is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT53 four-door coupe. Today we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz cars and SUVs. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys in a Ride. ride. And Nathan, let the folks know what we're taking a look at today. Oh boy, we are taking a look today at the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT 53 four-door coupe. That's right, and if you want to stay up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to keep up with all the new technology that's built into them, and you like cool collector cars, take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below, and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right, so uh, I don't know, Nathan, what do you say? Oh, I say definitely. Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. Hey, well, welcome to our, our detailed interior review here on the uh, 2019 uh, AMG GT 53 coupe and so we want to show you some of the specific things on this uh, AMG and I point this out in the general review but this is your HUD up your HUD display on or off so if I show you the HUDs up to the heads up display and I click that button it disappears so you can completely turn it off with a physical button click it again and it comes back up now one of the things that I like that's a little bit different on this car as opposed to the other MBUX system we looked at is that if I press the home key and I and I used used to be you had to kind of swipe up to uh, see like the, the HUD display but this one I just scroll over and I get the HUD button so I just I, what I'm doing is I'm pressing on this this trackpad right here on the left and if I click on it I get several options. I get position, brightness, and display content. So if I go to position, then uh, this, this will raise or lower it. And you can see now the red outline. And I can raise it, or I can lower it. Okay. And then if I press that uh, trackpad button again, the red lights go off. And now I can go down here, and I can go down to the brightness. Click on it, and I'll adjust it. So you can kind of see both the dashboard and the heads-up display. Okay, it's a little bit dimmer. So you got some nice uh, adjustment for driving at night or during the day. Okay, I'm gonna press that trackpad button again. I'm gonna go down to display content. And then over here, you do have some AMG specific things. So let's see what we have. So right here, we've basically got your speed. Um, we've got your uh, drive gear position. You got your RPM. You got some of your safety system icons showing up there. I'm gonna put it back in park. I don't wanna roll accidentally. Okay, I can go down to here and I can turn on uh, just the speedometer. I can turn on the speedometer and a sign reading. So it'll show me what the speed limit is on the highway as well as show me what I'm doing. If I go to the next one down here, um, then I get some directions. I get a compass that shows up and I can have a compass and the sign reading and the speedometer uh, all at one time. Okay, up here, I can get this view I had at first and then I can scroll up one and now it's going to tell me, and when I'm in gear, it'll actually show me. You can see where I'm going. There's like second gear is available. And it's not going to show me more than that. But if I was in fifth gear, it would show me fourth on the left. The gear I'm currently in highlighted in the middle. And then sixth gear on the right. So it tells me what gear is coming up next. Okay. Over here, now you've got some lap stuff. Okay. 
So only on the AMG do you get that do you get those last couple or the last couple ones here with the gear selector showing and it shows what's what gear is before it, what gear is after it, and then the lap stuff. So some amazing content on the heads up display. All right, so we're gonna move out of that then. And we'll go over to designs for a minute. All right, so here you got uh, on the display screens, you, I've got Super Sport, so you get the AMG logo down here and you get um, your, your TAC and you do have a digital speed right here as well as some readouts. Now, like any other MBUX system, I can scroll over here and customize the right side. Let's go back over here. Let's go down to Sport for a minute. Sport changes the view a little bit. And this one, I won't go any further than this because uh, this these other modes were in the other MBUX system that we looked at. So, all right. Then let's go over here um, to the infotainment screen. All right, so this is an example of the 360 camera that's on here. One of the things that I like is you see all the little black dashes on, on the front of the car and the back of the car. There's one for each sensor. So it's really particular about where it's sensing an object, which I, I think is really helpful. And he's got the dynamic swivel guidelines. So right now we're using the front camera, which stays on to about 10 miles an hour. Okay, and then we'll switch to the rear view camera. Okay. And then you can see it has the same dynamic tracking mode. And you can see how nicely and easy it would be to get right in a parking spot. All right, so um, on this particular um, infotainment screen, um, we do have, of course, the command navigation, and then we have, um, let's go up here to display and designs, okay? Um, we can set an additional display area to be dynamic, we can have it as uh, just the, the navigation map, or we can have consumption data, or we can have date and time. I think the easiest one to show it would be to put it in navigation map. So we should get a, a slight display on this side, and then the infotainment screen on that side, and the uh, driver's information on that side. So we'll, we'll see if that, if that comes on here. Okay, so let me go back to, say, media. Right, now I've got a split screen. So there's my media, there's my navigation. I think that is just really cool. All right, then if I go back over here to system, okay, if I go down to command touch, I can actually control some of those features from my phone. All right, so let's go to another thing on this vehicle that is unique. To this particular car and that is uh, the track pace so if I'm in here um, <laughs> warning use this on racetracks only okay sure ooh I like the graphics now I can select between track race drag race telemetry and then I have some options so let's just go to track race for a minute now I've got time recording, new track, lap times, all tracks, okay? If I go back and I go to drag race, I can have acceleration, quarter mile, braking, and then history. Okay, if I go back again, I got telemetry, okay? Uh, okay, I'll just click okay there. And then I've got parameter uh, one, two, three, and I can customize those. I mean, just some amazing things that come with this AMG. HUD content, okay? This menu can be used to select up, okay? So now I can say, do I want track, gra track graphics to show up on my HUD display? And I'm just clicking and selecting them. So now those will all show up on my HUD display, which is unique to the AMG, okay? Acoustic feedback, okay? So you can have some, uh, and I'm not sure because we can't try it out, but I don't know if it's a, it's a voice or just a, if it's a beep or a sound, but there is some uh, audio feedback. 
All right, uh, so that again is a really neat feature. I love that, and it's just right on the, the HUD display. Another thing that's uh, unique to this vehicle is the seats. Now these are massaging seats. You can control the driver's seat or the passenger seat. You simply select which one you wanna do. It even swivels a little bit to kind of show you which one you're on. You can go to massage function. You can see the functions here that are happening. And when if you go into massage, get ready because there's about 10 options. You've got hot relaxing back, hot relaxing shoulder, activa activating massage, classic massage, wave massage, mobilizing massage, um, active workout back, active workout cushion. Um, I mean, and then that that's the end of that list. But I mean, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I've seen any more than that in any other vehicle, that's just nuts. Uh, you have a dynamic seat. Okay, a dynamic seat, you can see the bolsters here. So this is, means when, you, when you're driving, if you turn, it'll tighten up the bolster on the side that your slot, you would tend to slide out of. And there's two level settings, level one or two, depending on how aggressive you want it, or you can turn it off. I like it on, I, I really like that. Okay, this does, of course, come with lumbar, and then you can adjust that. So we can adjust that part. Or you can go, let's see, where is it here? You can push it out, and now look at this. <laughs> That's just crazy. You can adjust it anywhere on your back. Or you can bring it in and say, well, I don't, I don't want it that much. Okay? That's just crazy. I absolutely love that. And, of course, this is driver or passenger. You got your side bolsters here. You can set the firmness of those to start with. Okay. Uh, we've got seat heating balance. If you want to set that, you can heat more to the back or the bottom, or you can set it on equal. So, a lot of the seats in here, and it's both driver and passenger seat. Now, in addition to that, if you turn the heated steering wheel on, not only does your steering wheel heat, but the center console heats. Oh, you can already feel it. And the door panels heat. So on those nice cold days and you need some warmth, you don't want to feel like you want to touch anything, you're going to have nice, comfortable heated center console, nice heated door panels on the side, and a heated steering wheel. Can't ask for much more than that. Let's come back down here to uh, these eight buttons on the side. So this is your mode selector and as i push it not only is the letter going to change but you're going to see a change on the, in, the driver's information screen so here i have slippery that would be for you know ice or snow that kind of stuff or maybe a, a really rainy day okay then i can go down to individual now in an individual if i press the adjust button i can adjust the drive the transmission the dynamics the suspension the exhaust system and then I have a custom setup for what I want. Okay, if I go back to this button here and I click it down again, I'm in comfort mode. If I want sport mode, I click it again. And then if I want sport plus, I can click it again. Moving down here, this is your, your manual or, or automatic uh, selector. So if I push it, it goes to manual. And then I've got my paddle shifters. Uh, or click it again, you go back to drive. Right here is your suspension. So this is unique to the AMG. If I go in here, I can do AMG suspension system. I can do comfort, sport, sport plus, comfort. Um, so uh, some of the same systems you saw up here, but there are some additional options. Traction control on or off. This one changes the tone of your exhaust. This is I'm nice to my neighbors, and this one is I'm not so nice. This one raises and lowers your spoiler. So if I push it once, you can see the graphic raise, okay? Now, it has about seven different settings and, and it can sense and do it automatically as well. But if I push and hold it and then let it go, it goes down to the next level. Push and hold it a little bit, let it go. Push and hold it, let it go. Push and hold it, now if I hold it down, now it goes all the way back down again. Auto start stop, turn it on or off, just a push button. 
And then up here, of course, is your volume control. And then you do have a mute as well. And I love it that the graphic changes when you hit the mute button. Now, uh, the lighting system in here is, is really nice. And if I go over, if I go to home here for a minute and I just go to vehicle, I can go down to light settings, click on it, and then I can have this is I can set a couple of things now. Not only do I have the ambient light, but I also have daytime running lights, locator lights. So when you hit your remote, which what lights up, exit lights, uh, interior light switch, uh, and then let's go back to ambient lighting for a minute. And then right here, I I, I love this this graphic they give you, but you have multicolor. Um, so you can have more than one color. Um, you can turn that, of course, on or off. I, I, I do like the multicolor though. Um, and then you can go over here and select. Do I want fire red, red moon, purple sky, ocean blue? Okay, depending on what mood you're in. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it on fire red. I kind of like that. And then of course you can swipe over one more time and you can set the displays. So. How bright or dim do you want the lights? Now you can see where all the lighting is happening. I can't really show you the daylight, but you got piping in the doors. You got it underneath the seats. You have it um, in the dashboard up here. I don't think it shows until you're done adjusting it. It doesn't, but this I I just right just now. a good the, the but on the graphic you can see okay. where it's going to be. And I think, and we're going to see in a minute here, hopefully, I think it comes under the front headrest as well but we'll, we'll, we'll see here. It also comes out in the air vents. So let's let's just finish adjusting that. Let's, we'll, we'll set the brightness as high as it can go. Okay, and then we'll just hit the home button. Okay, so now, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a red band going around the air vents. Okay, there's red underneath all of this here. Look at your pedals. Uh, down here in the under the, the pedals, they would have it as well. There's do under the door piping all the way under here is lit. Look at your leg, your right leg. Yeah, that's catching it off See of this it, light. Yep. yep. And then uh, in the back, mm -hmm. uh, underneath the seats in the footwells and in the door piping um, as well. And I don't. I thought maybe it came under the headrest, but I don't see it coming out from underneath the headrest anywhere. So maybe that was just an overlay on the graphics. Maybe it's the back of the, you know, underneath there. But either way, uh, it's just really, really nice. Um, the, the last thing I'll show you on the infotainment screen is under a vehicle. If you go in here, um, you can get to, let me back up a little bit. So I went under vehicle. So I, I just went to vehicle. And then what I did is I swiped right and I went down here under vehicle settings. Then I kept scrolling down and now you come to panel heating and you can see, okay, so the front right is turned on, the front left is turned on, and then the, the center console comes on with that, okay? So you have a nice, that that's, that's where you turn that stuff on or off if you wanted, if you didn't want it on. So. Um, that has been uh, a few of the details uh, uh, that are on this car, uh, in particular to the AMG badging on it. So we hope you've enjoyed it.